So mitigating insider threat, uh, I'm sure many of the organizations here today will do uh, many of these things, um, implement access controls, monitoring, auditing of data. Uh, however, what we really want to talk about is this, this point in, uh, in, in bold, um, implement smart security monitoring and uh, protection technologies. Um, so today we're going to be talking around dark trace uh, and how that works and how that can be used to detect insider threat. Dark trace is an advanced threat detection system that sits right in the core of the network. Um, it will uh, ingest raw network traffic and, and build up a, a profile of an environment, uh, of a network, uh, and it will start to look for anomalous behavior within that network. Um, at CyberSeer, we provide a managed service, so we'll deploy dark trace for people and we'll monitor it. Um, so we'll, we'll be able to see these insider threats when they're, when, they're, um, when they're occurring in real time. With the insider threat, you don't have those malicious files, you don't have those malicious connections because they already have the access they already have the knowledge of organization. In, in terms of um, what we want to identify um, for inside a threat, we want to work out the unusualness of and, and, and when somebody starts behaving in a different way from their normal pattern of life. So this is the, the main dark trace interface. And as I mentioned, it will set off a, a network tap or a spam port and ingest raw network traffic. We don't actually have to give dark trace any information. It will just build up a profile of, of what uh, an organization's uh, network and what the world looks like. And Dark Trace will, will actually take it, all of that raw network traffic and, and profile it. Um, so we're able to see here that we've got um, different protocols, we've got different application protocols, we've got TCP, UDP, we've got different remote ports, local ports. Um, and Dark Trace can actually profile all of this traffic in, in sort of 300 different dimensions, 300 different ways of looking at uh, uh, the packet data. Um, and once you've got that, that, that rich sort of stream of, of data, you can then begin to baseline what normal activity looks like for individual users and devices and, and subnets as a whole. So if we click on this, um, this alert here for unusual activity, we can then jump across straight to the particular device at the particular time uh, and, and then begin to understand why this device is, uh, is unusual. Okay, so here we can see we've got an unusual activity alert. Can everyone at the back read that? It's quite, yeah, it's quite good. Okay, and this is, we've had an unusual activity event come about due to, due to three different metrics. So internal data transfer, internally connected devices, uh, and internal connections to closed ports. So these three metrics have been drawn together by Darktrace to, um, to produce this alert. It's not just one signature or one malicious connection that's been flagged up by an IDS, but it's essentially drawing that together and, creating a calculated uh, risk score for those um, events. Um, but we like to go through a session um, um, with, with our customers before we engage to kind of work out what is critical to your business, which users are critical, which assets are critical, and, and decide there where we're going to put it.